let's do a very unusual unboxing, or at least unpackaging, of a fairly dangerous uh, vintage Philips lamp. So this is the packaging it used to come in. It's got text on here. It says TUV, uh, and then it's got data which says 6 watt, 200 to 240 volts. It also says something else underneath, but it's very small, blotchy print, and I can't really read it because they've printed it right over the top of the Philips text. So to unpackage these, you just unpick the uh, paper from the ends. I'm guessing in the past they'd have just ripped it off if they were wanting these open, but I want to kind of preserve this as part of the part of its heritage, if you will. And when you unroll it, here is the lamp. Oh, and some data. No, it's just warnings in three different languages. Um, caution. Ultraviolet radiation. Protect your skin and your eyes against the ultraviolet rays. Never look into the burning lamp. Exciting. So let's uh, turn it on and make it burn then. So I'm going to set this up and we can take a look at it lit and then we can explore the science of how this is made because it is quite interesting. So I'm just going to uh, change the, the setup here and we can take a look at it. One moment, please. The lamp is now lit and you can see it glowing orange at the ends because the carrier gas is neon with mercury vapour. The current it's showing is 35 milliamps. The power is 7.9 watts. But having said that, keep in mind this is a higher voltage. Well, it's above the voltage range effectively, but still within tolerance. And the power factor is a pretty good point now, not putting my lamps too close to that, because it is UVC. Right, okay, watch your eyes, literally. The light is coming back. So hopefully you weren't exposed to too much UVC energy there. I've got protective eyewear on, but uh, you may experience some symptoms from viewing that. And I'd like you to let me know if you experience those in the comments down below. There are three main symptoms that happen with UVC. Itchy or tired eyes. A slight reddening of your skin. You might feel a slight blush on your face by being exposed to it. Or the worst of all, a loosening of your stool. It can actually cause sudden need to go to the toilet and quite explosive diarrhea. Let me know if any of those things happens in the comments down below for research. So this uh, is a self-ballasted bulb or lamp. It says on the site here, well, what does it say on the site here? There is more text. Uh, Philips Holland, uh, 200 to 240 volt, um, UV6. O U V T U V six W, uh, and the little boxy thing, and then it says eight F. So the construction of this is as follows: there is a resistor in the base to limit the current. A uh, quite a lot of the voltage is from the mains is dropped across the actual gas discharge itself, and to help it light up, uh, the two electrodes actually have an ignition system built in. So there's an electrode at the bottom here, which is apparently an aluminium cup. I'm not really sure. It's kind of got an electrode spot welded on. The other electrode at the other end has a glass tube uh, brazed onto the um, base here and then a wire passing up the middle of it to the top, folded over, spot welded, and then there's a couple more little wires spot welded on just to keep it centred in the tube. It's a bit wonky, this one, it's like. Something has gone wrong there. That's fine. There is a resistor at the bottom here. This is a bit that helps it light. You see, that glass tube is metallic. It's got a coating of graphite on it. Oh, let me zoom down a little bit. It's got a graphite coating. I'll just make sure this is in focus. That uh, is tapped onto a resistor at this end. And the resistor is tapped onto this electrode. And the resistor value is grey, 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 grey gold. I don't think that's the real value. I think the colour has literally been baked off in either testing or the actual manufacturing of these, because grey, grey, grey would actually mean 8.8 .8 gigaohm. I'm not really sure if that's even a standard resistor value. The uh, graphite coating goes up to then, then stops just before this electrode starts with a bit of the glass protruding through. And uh, what happens when this lights up? Initially, the glow will start between this electrode and the graphite coating, but is currently limited by this resistor, and then the glow will spread along in a sort of avalanche sweeping effect very quickly until it reaches the other electrode. And once it's established, that is it struck. It just gets rid of that tricky bit of getting it struck in the first place. I'm not sure what the voltage drop across this will be. Technically speaking, it should be calculable by knowing the gas pressure, which we don't know. It's a 25 millimeter internal diameter. That's about an inch and about three inches long. 
the discharge, which is about 75 millimetres. And uh, based on that and the fact it is mercury vapour in neon, we should be able to calculate the voltage drop. I'm not sure what the voltage drop across these electrodes would be. But whatever is left over is dropped across the resistor in the base here. Um, but that is it. The glass is also a high purity glass so that it passes the UVC energy. Um, and I'm guessing these were probably used just in equipment to sterilise stuff. Um, it was quite an odd eBay find and I felt that I really needed to get one of these to preserve it on YouTube forever. But that's more or less it. I don't think there's anything else to say. Ballast resistor, ignition resistor, ignition electrode, one electrode, the other electrode, neon as a carrier gas, and mercury vapour. I don't see any droplets of mercury vapour. Hold on, let me just uh, double check. I can see a slight hint of mercury vapour, a slight crystally effect on the resistor lead, but nowhere else. It's probably just enough mercury vapour needed to actually do the job. I was kind of expecting it to have a, a little, not so much a getter as a um, amalgam in here that with the heat it would gradually liberate more mercury. But having said that, I think by the very nature of its operation, it needs the mercury to be basically diffused through it anyway. Uh, but that is it. The Philips TUV UVC lamp. And as I say, if you experienced any symptoms from viewing this lamp, let me know in the comments down below. It will be interesting for research purposes.